Well, thank you for watching this video, Improving Project Status Reporting with Enhanced Traffic Light Charts. This video is about how to save some time and to get some other advantages in your project status meetings. So you can use these charts to improve project status meetings. It, the charts give you a quick overview of three aspects of the state of the chart project and you use them together with the cost Gantt and Crip charts. And the innovation here is they add a change over time perspective to show trends. And then I'll show you how you can use these for other um, aspects of project management. So current traffic light charts as you see here, the color is based on the status of the project. You've got blue, green, yellow and red. Blue tells you the project is ahead of schedule, within budget and there are no problems. Green says it's on schedule, within budget and there are no problems. Yellow says well perhaps it's slightly behind schedule, slightly over budget, at least one minor problem but we're planning to correct by the next reporting period. And red is well behind schedule, well over budget or at least one major problem. And the way you set the colors are in order for a project to be blue or green, all three have to exist. But in order for a project to be yellow and red, only one of them has to be there. And the definitions of the percentages and what constitutes a major or a minor problem need to be agreed to at the start of the project. And that information has to match the information that's in your regular cost and schedule charts. So the enhanced traffic light chart, well the regular traffic light chart is a current view. It's a single snapshot. It's the one we currently use. The ETLC chart is improved because it contains three traffic light charts. It shows past, present and future and they're labeled as last, current and next. And they provide information that's currently not readily available. You can see trends, forecasting, risk management, and possibly candidates for promotion. So let me give you some examples. Let's take a look at the context. Here is a project review meeting, typical meeting. 11 projects back in February 2005. So that was 11 years ago. So it's probably okay to show you it. It's a research center. It's in academia. There were 11 projects and the review had 126 slides. Whoa, we're not going to shock. 126 slides. Some of them's data, but some of them are continuity slides. Some of them are progress slides. And some of them are humor just to break it all up. And I'll give you a couple of examples at the end. But the typical project introduction was a set of dot points for the 11 projects that you can see here. And then the presentation would go into each of the projects one at a time and you can see the introductory slide that gives you the administrative information and you can see the status traffic light signal. So the DMO MPM degree is green, the DSTO maritime support contract was red, the DMO certification contract was yellow and the PETS project was green. And you get that information as you go through the project. But now let's consider an alternative introduction. I've changed that dot point to a table. So what you say? It's just the same? Well, I haven't given you the third column of the table. That's the traffic light chart. And what's more, I've put hot links into the presentation to each of the sections. And of course, hot links back to this chart. So now you can look at this and you can focus. Project 4, it's in red. Let's go look at it. Project 5, it's blue. Hey, maybe we should look at that one. And then we can look at the projects that are yellow. And they're yellow, like 2 is yellow because it's got problems. 4 is red because it's got budget and schedule issues. And Project 11 is yellow because there's problem and budget issues. And then if there's time in the meeting, we can look at the green ones. And you can see right away that this facilitates management by exception and focuses on 
the projects that you need to look at and discuss in the status meeting. But wait, let's take it further. Look at the enhanced introduction. This is where I show the last one, the current one, and the next one. And you can see a trend. You can see projects 1, 8, and 9 are all in the green. No problems. Everything's going on fine. Look at projects 2. It was yellow last time. It's still yellow this time. And we're expecting a massive problem next time. We need to go look at that and find out what's going on. Or project 4. It's red all the way through. Hey, what's going on here? Is it a project manager's problem or is there something else going on? Or project 3. It's had problems, but it's coming back in the future. Similarly, project 7. And then take a look at project 10. It's been in the green, but it's going in the yellow next time. So something's up. Or project 7. It's been yellow, yellow, and going into green again. Or what about project 11? Yellow, 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 all the way along the time. So you can see information here that you couldn't see in the traditional single traffic light chart and you definitely couldn't see with that plain agenda start. But now look at the trends. Let's take a look at the trends and how they can be illustrative or characteristic of certain types of projects. Green, green, green. What does that mean? Within budget, within schedule, no problems. Did we overestimate? Or do we have a good project manager? Or are there really no problems? And what about a project that's yellow, yellow, and then heading into red? We need to look at it. Or number three, the project's catching up. Number five, we were in green, now we're in blue, and blue, we've got a really happy customer there. Number six, green, green, and then we complete. Look at number seven, red, yellow, green which means last time it had major problems, this time it's got fewer problems, and next time it's green. So the project is catching up. Is the project manager doing a good job? Or project eight. It's yellow last time with budget and schedule problems, and now it's in the green, and next time we're projecting to go into the blue. Watch this person, the candidate for promotion. And what about number nine? It was green, last time and now it's red with problems and it's going to be red with problems next time. So do we have no risk management going along here? And is number 10 green, green, yellow an illustration of the project manager just took my course in risk management, has started to do it and is reporting some risks? Or number 11, yellow problems, yellow problems, yellow problems. Do we have a project manager who is facing problems? Or do we have a problem project manager who is doing risk management? So what is the ETLC pattern for a good project? Why don't we discuss that in the comments section of the presentation? So there are advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are the vis visibility of the status at high level, which means upper management can see what's going on. It facilitates management by exception because you know you can see which projects to focus on. And so it saves time in project status meeting because it prioritizes the discussions. You don't have to go through all the projects linearly and you can focus on specific projects in the portfolio. And it allows you to integrate problem management, what we call risk management, into project management. And the disadvantages, however, are it opens the yellow and red status projects up to micromanagement by the next level of management. So if you don't want to be micromanaged and they're your projects, have your risk mitigation plan ready. Any comments? Now the thinking behind this comes from my book on holistic thinking. And here's some examples of some of the non-information charts that were in the presentation. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Your comments will be appreciated.